Inside my soul became so cold, I despised everything. No, right? No. <clears throat> Inside my soul became so cold, I hate, wait, huh? Inside my soul became so cold, I hated everything. I even despised the sun, as I knew I wouldn't feel its warm presence. I cringed at the sound of children laughing, as I knew I wouldn't get to play outside too. My stomach coiled at the smell of food being cooked, as I knew it wouldn't be served to me. These are some of the recollections of my nominee, accessed at www.goodreads.com on March 13th, 2020. His mother, his own mother, would put him in a room of poisonous gas, like bleach and ammonia with no ventilation, into a bathtub of freezing cold water for hours. She tried to burn him on the stove, but only got his arm. And when he was home from school, she would shove her fingers down his throat to make sure he hadn't eaten while he was there. She even called him it, her own child. Imagine that. This is a true story about my child, my nominee to the American Hall of Fame. According to HTTP, edition.cnn.com, access March 13th, 2020, he was identified as the most severely bruised child in California. My nominee, David Pelzer. I chose him as a story of overcoming child abuse it was so amazing. I read his books several times and even did him for my senior exit project. His story was so compelling as he was able to overcome so much and speak on it anytime he needed to help others. Today I'll discuss Dave Pelzer's horrible childhood at the hands of a sadistic alcoholic mother, his rise out of abuse, his advocacy for others, why I believe he should be in the American Hall of Fame. I think Dave should be in the Hall of Fame because he has articulated a life of abuse to the extreme and he's done it in a way to be able to help others. According to HTTP, HTTP wikipedia.org, March 13th, 2020, he was born December 29th, 1960 in Daly City, California, to his firefighter father, Stephen, and his mother, Catherine Pelzer. He was the third of five boys. According to his book, A Child Called It, his mother continually beat him, mistreated, and abused him. She starved him, locked him in the garage, made him drink ammonia, stabbed him in the stomach, and made him eat his own vomit. According to his book, A Lost Boy, at age 12, his teachers decided enough was enough when he came in with no skin on his arms due to ammonia burning it off. They put their jobs on the line by calling CPS and getting him permanently removed from his mother, where he stayed with a woman called Aunt Mary. However, his mom still managed to get there. And according to his book, A Man Named Dave, he wanted to stop the cycle. He wanted to show that you can heal relationships after abuse. He wanted to be an advocate for people who have been. He wanted to inspire hope and help recovery for victims, promote understanding about abuse, and to help teach forgiveness and healing to those who have been. According to www.bizography.com, he wrote some of the New York Times best-selling books. He travels the world to help others understand abuse better and to get through it. He won the National Jefferson Award in 2005 for his public service. And he was the first American to win the Outstanding Young Persons of the World Award in 1993. Today, I have discussed Dave Pelzer's horrible childhood and a sadistic alcoholic mother, his rise out of abuse, his advocacy for children who have been abused, and why I believe he should be elected into the American Hall of Fame. He is a living testament of resiliency, faith in humanity, and personal responsibility to encourage men and women to overcome any obstacle and to live life to its fullest. This is why I think and urge you to nominate Dave Pelzer into the American Hall of Fame.